Hello everybody and welcome checking out a brand new helicopter that dropped on Just Flight's website. It is the OH-58 Delta Kiowa. It is from TAC Flight. I've never heard of them before, but uh, looking at this helicopter in the texturing and everything, I have to say I'm impressed, visually at least. I mean, when you look at this thing, we're gonna we're gonna go up front or up close, and you can see that everything the, the the amount of details they put on this thing is kind of is really really good. Uh, they also added a bunch of other things to this helicopter. So some of the features are, and we'll get that, and we're gonna get into those features: accurate and realistic 3D representation, individually removable and openable doors, customizable loadout. You have also skids. You have uh, your normal skids, which are on there right now, and also high impact skids. They're, they're higher profile. They can take more of a, I guess, a beating per se. 4K PBR texturing, MF, MSFS native rain effects in detailed night lighting. Now the cockpit, there's even more detail in the, in the cockpit. Realistic 3D modeling customizable cockpit props, interactive multifunctional keyboard, dashboard vibration animation, windshield drawing option. I'll get into that in the, here in a minute. And also realistic night lighting. Oh, and we cannot forget this. Painter tool for livery creation. You heard that correctory, corrected. Yeah, can't talk. You heard me correct. Painter tools for livery creation. You can make your own livery in game. Now there are kind of some limitations, but you can do some stuff in the game, which I really, really wish other developers would do what these guys did because this is the, the, the bit, it creates a whole different atmosphere now. Uh, let's see. And then, yeah, has uh, its own flight dynamics and custom navigation systems and realistic avionics suite. So yeah, this thing is pretty, pretty detailed and we're gonna get into the stuff. Let's go ahead and jump into the cockpit. All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and turn on the battery. So we're gonna come down here. Battery, AC, so that sound you're going to hear is going to get annoying. I promise you, but it, you have to start the engines and do a little finagling to get it to go away. Hydraulic system on, uh, and then the starter. All right. We're at full power. Once we get enough power, then we can basically flip this battery switch off and on again and then, then it basically tricks it to shut up all right let's go ahead and see if we can trick it yep it's gone all right we've gotten that far now i mean look at the texturing of this thing the texturing it's an old helicopter this helicopter it's the bell oh 58 delta it came out during the vietnam war i think actually it just can't just came out just before the vietnam war and this was used very heavily uh it's, I, I it's a kind of a recon light reconnaissance helicopter i also with the weapons on i kind of it's kind of a fast attack uh, but I mean, this thing is nice. I like it. The texturing is great in my opinion. Uh, I've still, I'm trying to see if there's a way we can use the, uh, I really wish we could use the camera on top of the, uh, of the rotor. So yeah, if you actually look on the outside again, this little ball up top is essentially a camera. It's a TV camera that does thermal night vision has a laser finder. Uh, it's above the rotors so that when you are in combat theater, that you can uh, poke that above like a certain like a, a terrain feature without fully exposing the helicopter 
uh, to see what's on the other side or to track enemy. It's it's pretty cool. All right, let's pull out the uh, the book for this and we can go through the loadout features. All right, loadout features. You have right now, we have dual hellfires on both sides. Then you have your two and three quarters inch M255 Alpha ones, which are your rocket pods. Really cool feature about this. We're gonna hit apply on that. Show you on the outside. There they are. Now we can actually modify this to show only four rockets instead of the full seven. And there they are. Straight down the middle, you can look. Only four missiles in there. And three are gone. You can do that. Oh, oops, wrong one. You can do that all the way down to, I believe just one. No, nope, no, nope, you can do empty. Yep, you can do empty. Basically, you can simulate coming back from a, uh, from a battle or a combat situation uh, where you have expended all of your ammo. All right. And then you also have your air to air stingers. Your stinger missiles. Your M151 high explosive rockets. Forgot to hit apply. And your 50 cal, your M3M 50 cal. Obviously, this is all just a um, customization feature or your visualization features. So you're, you're not obviously going to be able to use them. And then you can do the same with the other side. The only thing is on different on this side. Oh, no, you can do the. Uh, no, you can't. The 50 cal is only going to be in your left side. But let me test something out. Air to air. Let's do the hellfires again on this side. No, yeah, you can only do your 50 cal on your left side. Which is an interesting um, a little tidbit information. All right, we're going to our configuration page. Hide left door, hide right, show IRCM. So IRCM is back, it was this device back here. I'm not sure what it is off the hand, but we're gonna keep it there. We're only put the other wars back. And this is where you can change your skids from uh, standard to high. A little bit more uh, higher impact or durable skids. We're gonna put them back on. Also then here, we're getting to our cockpit options. You can show your M4s. We're going to leave those up there, but yep, those are your M4s. You can also show your pilots and co-pilot, which we're going to get rid of them. We really don't need them. And there's a little bit of an Easter egg. Here's a smoke grenades. Oh no. We popped a pin. That's going to get filled up with smoke now and not no smoking. <laughs> I love that. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, uh, gotta love it. Take that off. And we're now going to touch on the draw a reticle that will display on your windshield. Huh? What kind of reticle do we want? Oh, that was I left clicked or right clicked on accident and it did that. Yeah, that's 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 going to be our radical. Obviously, you could write anything or you could put anything you want in there. Now, like this right here. Doesn't really give you enough room to do this, but go home. Oh, I didn't apply. Uh, actually, no, let's put it this way. Nah. So that just shows you what you could do with that. We're just going to do a. Oh, 
<laughs> that's so bad, but we'll leave it. Here's your checklist. So the checklist and everything is very um, military, I guess, I, to a walk down or walk through. But this is your complete checklist you you would go through. And I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm almost certain when I read through it, it's pretty close to being what you would get from a technical manual from a helicopter or from this one, probably. That's at least my opinion. And then navigation, here's your map positions. So you can do all kinds of stuff. Latitude, longitude. I don't know what UTM exactly is. You can fetch data. Uh, store and aircraft flight plan. You could this plane, this aircraft, this helicopter, it's got a lot to it. All right. And then you're a painter. We're going to go on the outside for this. So we're going to go ahead and take that away. And we're going to go on the outside. I love that the M4s actually show up on the outside too. You can see them right there. The, the detail, the amount of detail is awesome. All right, so we're gonna go over here. There it is, painter. 5.8 Delta painter. We're gonna add. Oh, look, I've already, uh, well, let me move this over a little bit. I've already added my decals, my mascot. This is my newer mascot. This is my old school, when I started out the channel with, but we're gonna throw this one up on there, on the left side. And there he is. This is really cool. I really like this. I, I, I'm still kind of figuring out hmm, what am I going to do with this? You can flip image, rotate, reset. You can reset. Uh, yeah, let's see. Can you reset it? No, you can't. I wish there was a reset button on this so you can put it back to zero. And then, uh, so what you're going to have to do with this, you can show the paint area. So this shows you everywhere that's paintable where you can put the, uh, your, uh, decals. And then you can also mirror it to the other side. I really, really like this. This is pretty cool. We'll leave that up there. The way to add them in there is this. Add, add image or add every left or right. Cause it's going to add it to your library. Hit add, whoops, actually uh, hit this. You need to pull a URL from the internet for your decals. So you may have to right click on any image on the internet and just grab copy link. And then you, if you just uh, control V, it should uh, post an actual link specifically to that image. So I'm going to go over that again, right on any image on the internet, right? And if it's allowed, it could be, the image could be encrypted. It won't let you, but right click on the image and do copy image link. And then you can paste it in here and it will fetch it. Really, really cool feature. I, I really like that. All right, we are back in the cockpit and we're about to take off. Uh, I believe everything is good to go. Let's go ahead and put on our, uh, where's our position lights? Uh, there they are. Position, con uh, collision. Should be good to go. We're at full power. Got our hellfires right out the door. Let's go ahead and take off and do a little bit of jog. We're right now at um, Fort Campbell. Fort Campbell, Kentucky. All right, let's go ahead and lift. Never really been great at flying helicopters in this game. It's 
so don't judge me oh we're gonna do a strike on the trees yeah don't judge me in my flight on the helicopters i've never been the greatest i don't have proper rudders rudder pedals uh to fly a helicopter in the sim i'm using the twist of the joystick which give me a bit of a pain but yeah we're right now flying over fort campbell kentucky uh, i think we're on the edge of uh also hopkins hopkinsville but i really do enjoy this helicopter this helicopter there there's a lot of things about this that devs should take note of one of them is the decal uh, where you can add your own decals to the planes that i think is a major milestone in the sim i don't think any other uh developers ever done that and like i said they should take note of it But yeah, I really like it. Uh, it's on Just Flight, uh, Just Flight's website. I'll put the link in the description below. The price of it is thirty five ninety nine, so it's thirty six US dollars. So, uh, in my opinion, I think it's kind of worth it. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's not like the Kiowa in DCS, um, where you it's a combat helicopter where you shoot missiles and so on. I mean, it, it, it's it's. The, the helicopter dynamics or uh, mechanics in flight sim hasn't always been the best and i honestly don't think this is bad at all it just takes some getting used to and it's just I, I love it absolutely worth it especially if you like the amount of detail they put into it and the customizations you can do probably shouldn't have banked like that but oh well is that a firing range let's go and just land in this field over here i've also that's also another thing that's where i'm really really bad at it's landing a helicopter Oh, can we skip this tree line? Come on, why do you want to be like that? I don't know all the functionalities of this helicopter, but it, I, I just, I know I like it. Still learning it, mostly. Yeah, and see that's why i'm also that's why i need rudder pedals for things like that for that spin so you can counter the torque uh of the rotors i i'm just really 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 bad at it so uh i believe i also damaged the window because you see these i wonder if that's part of the uh repair window nope okay that didn't do anything but yeah i really do enjoy this this helicopter is pretty nice lots of good features hopefully some good updates come out later for it that will uh, i don't know maybe change maybe change the uh, flight dynamics of the helicopter once it maybe hits flight sim 2024 who knows hope everyone enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe I hope everyone has a great rest of their day.